beginning of the build out. Pleasure. Thank you, sir. Cap Swag family, what's good, what's good? I'm back for another review. I'm doing a lot of fitteds lately. I've showed you guys a lot of fitteds that we've done. Some customs, some, you know, uh, options that we brought in just because we thought you guys would love them. I wanted to bring in something a little different today. I'm going to be reviewing some dad hats. I know we're probably not bringing in as many dad hats as we used to but there's still a demographics like myself that actually prefer a dad hat the reason for that you know the reason being for that is really the look and feel of this type of hat right the crown size of this type of hat it's just a different type of look and feel it's just a different type of fit the reason why people go with this product versus this product, right? A lot of times you'll see it's like fitted people are fitted people and dad hat people are dad hat people. Well, there's a reason for that, right? If you're if you're shopping what fits your head best, which what a lot of people do, they shop the look, right? That's what you're shopping. You're not just shopping the hat, you're shopping the look. Some people's head shape or crown size just fit better in a hat like this. So when I say crown, what I'm really talking about is the distance between the brim and the top button of the hat. And as you can see, this one's a little bit smaller. It has a, what we call a lower crown or a, a low to a mid-sized crown versus a new era fitted, which is like a mid to high size crown, right? It's a structured high crown. And that's what gives that fitted hat such a distinct look versus a dad hat, right? So I wanted to bring in dad hats because I know that the, you know, the market has shifted a bit and we all know that but there's still a huge huge demographics that this is their hat this is what they wear it's unstructured it fits their head well the crown is right it's just a relaxed fit so let's just get into it if you're going dad hats right so this unstructured when i say unstructured this is what i'm talking about there's nothing that keeps this material in its place it's not structured right whereas this has that structured backing right that structured backing material over here that keeps it kind of rigid and upright at all times unless you go in and damage this which can be done if you guys are, are interested in transporting structured hats here's a link here for our six-pack cap carriers you know they'll, they'll keep the structure of your hat correct while you're you're taking a vacation or you're you're going from place to place what you don't want to do with a hat like this is really throw it in your bag because you'll damage the structure material and or the brim but a hat like this, honestly, less of a concern, right? It's an unstructured material. So we brought in a camo, uh, Rangers. We got we brought in a few different camo, uh, 47 dad hats. If you guys are not familiar with the brand 47, if you're into dad hats, I would suggest checking them out. You know, I think 47 to dad hats is what New Era is to um, fitted caps. You just can't replace an iconic fitted. And you just can't really replace this this style of 47 hat, specifically the cleanup. It's been uh, one of the hottest selling hats for the last few years. All right. The details of a unstructured cleanup hat are as follows. This is obviously a camo and every camo print is going to be a little different. This camo looks fine to me. Sometimes we get a camo. I'm like, what the hell were they thinking? The print is does not look good. This camo looks perfectly fine. It has a, a like a washed feel to it. It just looks like a relaxed, washed feel, right? Uh, characteristics that you're looking for is a strap on the back, right? It has that buckle on the back of it with that 47 logo right, right there, right? And then what they do with that strap, you know, a few people know this, is it kind of sits in this little loop right over here, right? And then it goes through that hole and it sits behind the sweatband, okay? So you can literally just pull that in just like that. Now, what you can also do to resize this real easily is 47 is really clever with the, the cleanup. It just unclips, right? So it has a little button. You put the button in, you size it the way that you want. You slide it through this little hole like so. You clip it in right over there. That's it. And then it has a nice finished edge. I've had a couple people ask me to try some of these on. Fit on this, I love the fit on this. All right, 
I, I particularly like hats like this. I was wearing dad hats and lower crown hats way, way before this, you know, dad hat craze. I just like the way they fit my head better. If you have an odd shaped head, which I do, you're going to go with this kind of direction. If you, if you try a fitted hat and the crown of the hat just sits so high, you feel like you look ridiculous. Chances are it's not the hats. It's not that you're not a hat person, which I hear a lot. I hear a lot of people saying that Roboto. They try on a fitted, the fitted doesn't fit right. So they're like, oh, I'm not a hat person. It's not that you're, you're not a hat person. You just got the wrong hat. So you try on one of these, it just fits a lot better. So again, this is a cleanup, 47 cleanup. It's going to be on our website. It's a camo. Uh, it's not really distressed, but it's got like a, a pigment washed, not pigment washed, but just a washed feel, right? If you guys are interested in this product, it's gonna be a link in the description. If you guys like what we're doing, make sure you hit that like button. If you love what we're doing, subscribe, tap that notification bell. That way you know when more heat is coming your way. Thanks for watching. Thank you.